Hey guys, Happy Splasher here. Good afternoon. It is 6 10 2021. Uh, apologies for not being able to stream this morning. I stayed up all night, so that's no good. Uh, we'll be back to our regular scheduled streaming schedule tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow, that is when the Wish Shop will start. We'll have a link to the best recommendations for the Wish Shop in this uh, description here. And then uh, we'll also cover some Dark Tower runs, and we'll go from there. All right. I also know that in the news, if you go here, click on the news, you will see that some of the uh, some of the older units have their abilities changed. So you can check them out here, figuring out their names, and then uh, you can go down here and you can click on the individual cards and see what abilities have changed. Uh, just taking a look from some of the abilities, I think the Lancelot got one of the best changes because they do this reflect damage now every time one of uh, one of the units on your side are attacked. The Prince Nod over here has a new ability to deal damage to melee units whenever they attack, so that's good. And then this Prince here has a different ability, so whenever one unit dies on your opponent's side of the field, you'll be able to summon this Squire unit. It has plus attack to units with block, and then it itself also has block. It doesn't do the extra summons anymore every turn, so that's kind of a bummer. But uh, yeah, this combos with a lot of other units. Uh, Frost is a good one, and Goliath is also a good one in terms of triggering their abilities. All right, so let us go into Divine Arena. Okay, so we have Divine Arena. On the left here, we have the White Shaman, and on the right, we have the Atom. Looking at the flavor text, we see here that uh, Nature is going to be used. Doesn't really say what their strategy is gonna be, but we'll find out soon enough. And then on the right here, we have Summons that are going to be used to, I assume, overswarm their, their uh, field. So let's get right into it. some changes here all right okay so in terms of stats we are going to be summoning this particular unit just taking a look at their abilities so they have damage to all our units ranged summons and then attack boost to order buildings deal damage to us all right of spikes and then also over here we want to protect this unit in particular because it's going to deal damage to their units whenever they attack. So we're going to start by placing this. Mm, yeah, we're going to be placing this actually behind here. Uh, the reason why is that this building is going to be defending this particular unit. We do have a spikes ability, which will deal damage whenever our warlord is attacked. So we'll take advantage of that, but we will need to take additional damage in order to use it. So for now, we'll do our spikes. And then we will, in terms of stats, we'll be placing this over here. Uh, the reason why is so that we can guard this lane for later once this unit is destroyed. And then on top of that, we can place another melee unit to double guard this lane. Okay, as you can see, that new ability of the Prince coming out. So it summons this uh, Squire over here. This Squire does, yep, does give, it has block, and then it gives plus attack to units with block. So in that case, it would be these units over here. Um, that poison is going to go off next turn, so this will heal that. And then there will also be some damage over here. Uh, this is when we will... Summon our totems to help us block. And then on top of that, we are going to summon this particular unit. It will give an attack boost to our nature units. Right now, they're not doing anything because they're behind these buildings. But for the time being, we'll make sure that we can defend our lines. Okay, a little bit of poison damage over there. The next turn, we're going to be summoning this unit. It has an ability to stack on poison and also does poison as soon as it comes out in play so we'll do that 
Okay, and as you can see, whenever the poison triggers, it gives a health boost to this particular unit. Okay, so that's good. We're going to going to double up on this lane once more. This unit does have an ability, so whenever it dies, it deals damage to a female unit. So in this case, it would be this one, as you can see with the symbol. And this is also a female unit as well. All right, uh, hold on, guys. I got to take care of a little something here. Uh, so let's see, over here. Okay, we are back. We had to take care of some issues with the door, apparently. All right, we're going to be summoning this unit again to stack on for poison, making sure that we can get rid of their units. As you can see, a lot of poison damage stacking on with both of these units. Okay, and at this point, we're not too worried about their units anymore. The poison damage is going to go off. We're going to be summoning this unit that deals damage to all of their units. As you can see, every unit that is uh, highlighted with red is going to be affected by their abilities. Get rid of those over there. This unit gets an attack boost whenever something dies. So we're getting rid of those lines over here. And then as you can see, our lanes are pretty much guarded. So then we can just place our range units up top, and then we'll go for game. Getting a little bit of a nature boost. We'll be summoning this unit that gets an attack boost for units. And there we go. Okay, and uh, now we're going to do the Adam side. So let's get right into it. Taking a look at their abilities, so they have the spikes that we had from last time, and the totems that deal reflection damage to our warlord, and then on top of that, nature boost to their allies. What we're going to do is start with, well, we'll get rid of this building first, because it deals damage to our units. We'll start with this particular, see what makes sense. In terms of stats, we're going to be summoning this particular unit. And we're placing it over here so that we can get the extra attack boost for our archer over here. So that way we can use just one summon to get rid of it. Okay, same here. Uh, we have this unit that gives negative attack to one of our units at the end. Going to I want to get get to this unit as quickly as possible, so we're going to be summoning this particular unit. It has multiple summons, as you'll see here. We'll be do enough damage to get rid of this building. Uh, next turn, we will probably use our storm ability to deal some damage and then get through this unit. Okay, that is a big issue. We have this unit that poison triggers, gives it a health boost, and then also whenever poison triggers again, it will deal more poison damage. I actually don't like what we are starting with in our open. It looks like we probably won't be able to get rid of this, so we will try again. Okay, uh, same thing, same thing. Let us go from here. Right. 
All right, well, we'll start once again by getting rid of this building. We'll summon this prince here. I'll get the multiple summons when it kills something. Uh, well, actually, whenever anything dies on their side, we'll have these extra summons. Uh, I guess we won't worry so much about their units and just deal as much damage as we can. All right. That going. Came into play, dealt damage to all of our units. Still need to get rid of this. Three. Okay, so that should be enough for this. Okay, once again, they did summon that poison unit. Seeing if we if we have any other ways to get rid of it. The problem is with our exact setup, the poison triggers are going to go off wherever, whenever we summon a unit because it's right over here and here. So. I guess we'll just go for as much damage as we can at this point. We will, in terms of stats, we're actually going to hold off on summoning this unit because it gives an attack boost to our allied units that are women. So we're just going to be summoning this for damage. When this unit dies, then we'll summon something else in the in, in this lane here. Okay. Uh, okay, we will summon this unit to get rid of this building over here. And then get rid of this unit in combat. Checking out the damage. So when this unit dies, it deals damage to a female unit. So in this case, it will be this one, unless they summon another female unit. But they don't. So that's fine with us. Uh, attacking over there. Okay, and they're poisoned as well. Yeah, this poison trigger is going to happen pretty much every turn. We can... Don't want to use our other abilities until we can get rid of this unit. So in the meantime, we'll be summoning this unit over. Guys, guys. Yeah, we're going to be summoning this unit over here, actually. So that way it can be defended by this melee unit. This unit is going to die. That's fine. We still have our storm ability to deal damage over here. We just want to get this unit away from the poison triggers. Okay, same thing. Let's see here. We'll use our storm ability to actually open up this lane. This unit deals poison damage to our attacking units, so. These units will both be poisoned. Storm. We're going to hold off on our summoning until we can get rid of this particular unit. And in the meantime, we will summon this unit over. Yeah, we'll summon this unit over. Actually, yeah, we'll summon this unit over here to once again get around the poison. So as you can see, at the end of turn, these units all got an attack boost. So that's good. Next turn, if any of these spots open up, we'll do our summons, and then we'll summon this unit in order to go for an attack. Attack goes up there, 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 there. Okay, I believe we have a game at this point, so we're going to do our summons. It's fine. We'll use our other ability to give our order units an attack boost. 
So that should be enough to destroy that, making sure that these don't have death triggers. 50, yep, and enough. Yep, okay, we are good here. Just gotta summon one more unit. Get some extra damage in. Okay, so this unit will die by combat, and then this lane is open for attack. And there you go. That was the Atom side. Got a little bit of rewards, so that's good. Epic chests are good for us too. Yeah, we went around that poison unit that kept on dealing poison damage to our unit and then also kept with the uh, the defense. And uh, yeah, we got those extra summons, got some more damage over multiple turns, and we're able to go for the victory. So yeah, uh, Divine Arena is going to be done and it will refresh in 19 hours. We'll be covering that tomorrow and we'll take it from there. So if there are any questions, comments, feedbacks, or concerns, leave a message on the Twitch channel uh, or Discord or YouTube. Please follow on Twitch and like and subscribe on YouTube for more videos. We streaming schedule is up on the upper right over there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. This is Happy Splasher, signing off.